Buenas noches. My name is Guillermo Alejandro Vilchis de Olvera. And you thought it was Bill, huh? I am your MC for tonight. And in Spanish, MC stands for Mucho Caliente. And we will be having a hot time tonight. You know, it's just like a bunch of Chicanos meeting at a tank eating dinner. So I want to thank you all for coming here because, you know, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 25th anniversary of Border Angels and to celebrate, yes, yes, and to celebrate 25 years of advocacy, of advocacy on behalf of immigrants. It is a true testament of the impact an organization has and one man of one man's courage who has ganas and the si se puede attitude to save hundreds and hundreds of lives that otherwise would be statistics written on wooden crosses across the landscape. Can we give it up for the Border Angels and Enrique Morones? Uh, this is the very first time. This is to Enrique Morones. Enrique, would you open this up? This is the very first time that Chicano had the front page of cover in the San Diego Union Tribune that did not kill, rob, or maim their dog. It is a historical document. Enrique, this is you. And thank you, the Union Tribune. Where are you? Thank you very much. Uh, as I was walking, my knee went out, you know, and I, I got to tell you, as one gets older, uh, there's all kinds of medical conditions you get. The older I get, the more conditions I'm aware of. Uh, my Anglo friends, some of them suffer from dementia. So when I go through these names, and if I forget, I will be suffering from demenso. Demenso. When I was younger, it was called menso. Uh, for you Spanish uh, challenge people, could you tell them what it is, please? Thank you, everybody. Buenas noches. Welcome. Welcome. Bienvenidos. Me da mucho gusto que están aquí con nosotros todos. Soy Enrique Morones de Ángeles de la Frontera, y no tenemos éxito nosotros si no es por ustedes. How about a round of applause for all the Border Angel volunteers? They're the ones that really make this uh, an organization. And we are an all-volunteer organization. And I also want to ask you for a round of applause to uh, my personal heroes, who happen to be here tonight. Luis and Laura Morones, my parents, my dad of 92 years, my mom of 83, from the great city of Mexico City in Culiacán, Sinaloa, and my brother uh, Luis and his wife Mary that are also joining us. Thank you. Glad that you're also here. And also somebody else very special, my uh, personal hero here on earth, and my mentor and who was my best friend, and he is the person that, thanks to him, many of us do what we do. And that's Roberto Martinez. Rest in peace. And today, his wife is here, Yolanda Martinez and his granddaughter. I also want to give thanks to some of the elected officials. We'll have others that we'll mention, but I want to mention a few of them right now. And I want to mention a very special thanks to my friend, Tony Mendoza. He's the president of the Latino Caucus. Tony, good to see you again. Assemblymember Mendoza. Assemblymember Ben Wessel, he's on his way over here because he knows he's got to sit down. He's on his way over here. So Ben, thank you very much for joining us. We're, we're glad that you're here with us. Consul General de Mexico of the great country of Mexico, my friend, my good friend, La Consul Remedios Gomez Arnau. Consul, bienvenida, muchas gracias por acompañarnos. También está el consulado, muchas gracias, miembros del consulado que nos están acompañando. Former senator and a, and a candidate for Congress, another good friend, Ex-Senator Denise Duchenne, Denise Moreno Duchenne, that's here with us. We have another great friend and elected official. We have Jose Preciado over here. Jose, bienvenido. I'm sure I've missed other people. There's other people that we're going to be introducing, OK? So if I missed an elected official, please let me know, and we'll make sure that we introduce them. We are going to introduce a lot of people that are here tonight. 
But first, before we get started, um, I thought it was very important that we start with an opening prayer. So we want to start with an opening prayer, and it's going to be done by Cesar Chavez's grandson. And Cesar Chavez's grandson is going to do an opening prayer that was written by his grandfather, Cesar Chavez. And this is Michael Ibarra, Richard Ibarra's son, and we're glad that he can join us. Come on up here, uh, uh, Michael, and uh, do us the honor of, of reading this uh, opening prayer. How about a round of applause for Cesar Chavez's grandson, Chavez's son. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my grandfather wrote this prayer uh, a short time before he passed away. Um, and we usually open up uh, you know, big gatherings like this with the prayer. Uh, so if you guys could all uh, repeat after me. Show me the suffering of the most miserable. So I will know my people's plight. Free me to pray for others. For you are present in every person. Help me take responsibility for my own life so that I can be free at last. Grant me courage to serve others for in service there is true life. Give me honesty and patience so that I can work with other workers. Bring forth song and celebration so that the spirit may be alive among us. Let the spirit flourish and grow. So that we will never tire of the struggle. Let us remember those who have died for justice. For they have given us life. Help us to love even those who hate us. So we can change the world. Amen. Amen. 